Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper in Corner. We got Bonnet starting as the mustard, mustard yellow. I wonder what that color, I should check what that color is named because they have the different names. And I'm wondering if it is something along. It's funny that they don't have like the colors memorized as far as the StarCraft selection screen. Bottom left in corner, we got the magenta or hot pink DeWalt. This is going to be game three, Fighting Spirit Mania. My app is of course Fighting Spirit Cross Position, which could make things interesting. And I will try to get back to you uh, as far as the last match, if you guys did not catch it. There was a Bonneth opened, uh, gate, robo before range, into two gate. I thought that was a really strong build against one gate into expansion, into three gate. DeWalt, however, executed such a, a fantastic defense that I'm questioning whether one gate into expansion into three gate is a counter to what Bonneth launched. This is certainly going to be uh, fast gateways, by the way, which is going to be unfortunate for Bonneth because at cross position, it's going to be hard to execute. That being said, uh, Bonneth does a really, really good job of recovering from this exact scenario uh, with decent scouting information. Sending the first probe out, he's going to send them, usually he just leaves the probe there, but so going with a single gate at the forward position, which will buy him a couple seconds, and we'll see if he sends out a second probe near that 150 mark. In the meantime, gateway being built along the edge there by DeWalt, the simulator out as well. And it is going to be cross map spawn. Interesting. I kind of like this play, actually, the way he's doing it. So he's actually, so he's dropped the double gate. But in the worst case scenario where you find your opponent at cross spawn, and actually the angle of this, DeWalt should be able to recognize that it's at cross spawn as well. And won't get the scouting information because uh, the Zealot, I believe, will be out in time. That actually might give him a spot of information as well. But Bonneth, now recognizing that his opponent is at cross position, can go ahead and build fewer... Yeah, cancels the Zealot, drops the gas instead, and drops the pylon. Uh, that is going to allow DeWalt to go ahead and get a scout into his opponent's base. Um, he'll also be... It, it's actually kind of cute because he ends up up a Zealot as well, but it ends up being kind of not exactly a null Zealot, but it allows Bonneth to go into more heavy, Dragoon heavy production uh, right off the bat. So, loses, so it ends up a little bit later, but it ends up balancing out in the end, which is where I've seen other people go to gate and they don't have like the recovery ca capability at cross position, like I've seen Bonneth execute, which is maybe why he's so good at it. This probe's taken a huge amount of hits, by the way, this early from the Zealot. A little bit uncharacteristic. The downside of this, though, is because it is a slower later cybernetic score. It looks like a Zealot is queued up, by the way. I was actually thinking he was going to skip that altogether. Uh, that means this probe remains in the base for the long haul. Ooh, second Zealot queued up from DeWall, interestingly enough. Huh. That actually, I am curious to see, because he has not seen any Zealots thus far. And he got him. Ooh, nice manor pylon. I believe he, he did manage to get... So one worker makes it even. Pretty good harassment. I wonder if he's going to go for a second here. He sees that cybernetic score finish, and, at least, and, and now he's going to see at least two Zealots out on the field. I guess he just wanted to have... Uh, Matching unit count. This is where I wish I knew more about PvP early games. Cancelled Pylon to get the resources back, by the way. DeWalt still keeping this probe active and annoying. Two Dragoons now queued up. DeWalt actually still has an opportunity to get this probe out of here. And might even be able to get that in for... So actually, this will be interesting. So first Dragoon is out. Two Dragoons are going to be... So he'll actually be down a Dragoon at the end of all this. He's going to be able to get that worker out, by the way. So be down uh, down a little bit of workers, but up a so up a couple workers, but down a dragoon. Interestingly enough, in the space of all that, as far as how the build order flows out, I'm kind of like trying to learn and study this little bit aspect, which doesn't really help Bonneth at cross position, because by the time the dragoons make their way to the bottom left, it do it doesn't do anything for him. But it also makes me curious as far as that at a hor uh, at a horizontal position, if there is oh immediate transition into Citadel of Adun. So I think we're going to see quick DT out of this. That usually means quick DT, a probe waiting on the wings to maybe make some forward movement here. We do have that uh, nexus up in the meantime. Unfortunately, it depends on the timing of this probe. If the probe comes out and sees like a handful, sees the four Dragoons, like part of it is, uh, part of the success of being able to execute the DT is also, yeah, there's the Temple Archives, is also making sure that you make it look like you're still building out of two gateways and you're still building all the dragoons. Otherwise, if there's a lack of gas, 
uh, players can walk up and say like, okay, I don't see four dragoons, but I do believe DeWalt saw the saw the edge of the natural expansion that there was no expansion there. So he has to presume there's something going on. He has dropped the robotics facility in the space of this defense pile on there at the three o'clock location uh, again for Bonnet. And is DeWalt going to, I don't think he's going to walk his way forward because he did go for that nexus in the space of this. So I don't think he's going to donate any troops towards the front. Interesting play that can also happen in the space of this is just queue up DTs and actually go with the entirety of your army and just allow them to be the brutal extra damage that they are. 30 gate, by the way, dropped here from DeWalt. I think as long as he goes, uh, I think as long as he gets the observer, uh, if he drops the obs here, as long as, as soon as this builds, he, get, he will be able to mitigate a lot of the damage. Four gate, by the way, follow up for Bana. So he's really going here. Defensive pylon out on the front. That being said, uh, was he a little bit slow? Okay, no, uh, observer about, observatory about halfway finished. It takes about the amount of time to traverse bottom left to bottom right as it takes. So as this queues up, I believe the DTs will be right about here. If I if I remember my timing of all this building and how long it takes to traverse fight, fighting spirit well enough. Because observers build really, really fast. Dwalt still will have to pull probes from his natural expansion. It looks like he was going to go ahead and drop a defensive pylon at the 9 o'clock as well. Bonneth... It, what uh, he's actually work, walking into less troops. So here's the DTs. Was I right? Yes. Look at that. I feel really good at my commentary powers right here that I was able to call that precisely. So there's the observer. There's the DTs. They're going to get wiped out. And now Bonneth is stranded with a lot of his troops. And that might be a quick GG right there. Okay. So for my, my lack of other commentary knowledge, I felt like that was pretty slick. And now DeWalt with uh, the counter Dragoon advantage that we need more DTs actually out on the field just to potentially keep DeWalt back and DeWalt needs to be careful because he is walking three gate versus four gate here so this observer going alongside the second observer looks like it's going to uh, is going to make its way halfway out a second gas drop as well and DeWalt not kidding around with this I would expect him to be more defensive with DTs out here Zelt leg speed also so this is going to be an interesting follow-up for Bonneth as well and I actually might completely catch DeWalt off guard because the follow-up is also going to be Zealot Leg Speed as far as a turnaround, which means these Dragoons get slotted out on the map. What a great follow-up. So Forgate, Zealot Overwhelm, and you can see DeWalt having trouble handling this. And D Bonnet, despite being uh, lower on supply, is actually going to be able to wipe out these Dragoons at his natural expansion. At the same time, DeWalt knows that Zelt Leg Speed is there. He needs to micro this really, really well. He also needs to get an Observer. Might even want to drop uh, a canner. For, it looks like he's trying to get some Zealots out of his own. Does he have a Robotics up yet? No, it looks like he went Forge. He's going to drop... He's dropping cannons to try to solve both problems. Um, supply is a little bit deceptive because... And so Bonneth actually is a much larger attack army. But I like this as a turnaround. Dropping gateways to, to just drop extra Cruft. Recognizing that Bonneth is very all-in, and that also allows these Zealots to somewhat negate the Zealot leg speed advantage. And finally, Bonneth able to re-micro and try to focus fire on these gateways. Probes also creating blockade. DeWalt has probes to lose here that allow the cannons to morph in as well. That also just really soften those Zealots up. Great play here from DeWalt, and Bonneth going to have to back out a second. He's going to redrop that... He's going to kill that pile and at least get the bonuses that he can. This is going to be a fourth gateway out now for DeWalt, recognizing that it's a four-gate play. And that plus the photon cannons, this is going to be a very tough break now at the natural expansion. The Zelt's sweeping right back around. But these cannons going to make up a lot of the difference here. And so we got... And we have the gateway also with the positioning of that gateway. That means the troops are going to spawn right where they need to be, right into the midst of battle. So they're going to spawn immediately fighting. So I think that's going to be it. Massive economic lead here for DeWalt. The Dragoons are dwindling. We do have some Zealots that are we're marching across the field. But man, I actually, I like the theory behind this for Bonneth. Where it's initial failed DT into the follow-up. Looks like, like we're seeing a Citadel of a Dune as uh, and <laughs> potentially uh, counter DTs, by the way, from DeWalt. The Observer going to make its way up. We have an emergency nexus. Do we, have, we do have robotics and a shuttle. Oh, he's going to go for a DT drop here, I think, in the space of this. He's getting his Observatory and drop in the midst of this. But man, he's got a lot of ground to cover. Because this was... Uh, look at the supply difference, first of all. And just the economic difference is massive. 
DeWalt could go for a third, honestly, in the space of this. He, a couple, an Archon morphing in the midst of everything. DeWalt checking everything out, looking at all the tech. Did he see the shuttle, though? I think that might be the trick. I could see a, a DT drop, maybe getting some, maybe even some speed zealot drops. Being very, very hazardous here. So shuttle, that's interesting, unloaded. Is that for scouting? Making its way out. DeWalt making sure a third base wasn't dropped rapidly as far as recovery. He's got his own shuttle out. No Reaver queued up as yet. Massive supply. So 20 supply lead right now here from DeWalt. 25 of that, though, is in workers. He's going to go up. So he's getting his own Templar archives out, plus one weapons as well, which will be a nice lead. This is going to give him a mat. So this is six gateways in the main. Sorry, seven gateways in the main. So it's going to be eight gateways total. I think he recognizes as long as he just keeps producing right this second. He's just going to have an overwhelming attack force over Bonneth. This shuttle could be the X factor, but Bonneth for, I, I don't know what the logic of this is. Maybe spotting for counter drops potentially. He was a little bit worried about a counter reaver drop. The observer is pinned near that reaver. So it's going to be able to see that shuttle pickup potentially as well. And there wasn't a shuttle speed upgrade, but we have the counter DTs. We have zealot leg speed, no observer out here from Bonneth yet. And so that kind of pins him into a defensive situation once that DT's out on the map as well. And actually it would be kind of cute actually if the vault went for a counter DT drop of his own. Yeah, Observer checking absolutely everything. Sees the, I believe he caught the edge of that shuttle scooping up and sees the move out as well. So I think this is at even army. This Dark Templar, so there's no Observer with this. So this Dark Templar could actually walk out in the field and get a lot of free shots or could just walk into the natural expansion right this second. We have no cannon here. Is he just going to walk by? So see, so Bonneth, yeah, that entire army is getting spotted as it's making its way across. One Reaver out in the front. Second Reaver's not there. We have an Archon alongside. Zealot leg speed opposite end. Plus one weapons finish for Dewalt, which means all of his units hit a little bit harder, and there are more of them. And you're attacking into a defensive situation. Dark Templar making his way up. Is he just going to go to the main? In the meantime, full engagement. The Reavers are to the front. And oof, Reaver gets wiped out. There's still two active Reavers on Bonneth's side. That could be the difference here pressing in but in the meantime at the main the dark templar where's the dark templar dark templar okay finally getting some damage done this way so now if bonneth is going to win it he needs to win it with just a full-on attack because i don't even know that he maybe he noticed that so it's elimination basically both directions and there's some cannons that need to get pushed through and there's a counter reaver on the low ground but now that's spotted the observer not a, okay the observer there at the natural expansion but still 17 workers left and those zealots taking huge shots from that reaver. Absolutely massive hits. So reaver's gone, actually. But this is still too too little too late now. DeWalt could uh, just move his workers, honestly, out and use that to defend. And that would be plenty. These two dragoons that were out of the fight for I don't know what reason. Cleaning things up. That's GG. Whether there's a GG from Bonneth or not. Yeah, there it is. Good play, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bonneth uh, now down two. Oh, man, this is getting... I'm kind of a little bit nervous here. I'm going to admit. I'm like, can Bonneth pull it out? Because I'm like, am I up for casting an entirely additional set? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.